Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. We may do it in five today because the weather's so quiet. As you can see from the watches and warnings map, hardly anything going on except for northern half of Maine, where it's always snowing. And we've got some wind issues in parts of the plains and also up in parts of northwest Montana. And that's it. Weather in five brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. Your go-to place to get your winter weather stuff to make sure that your house is clean this winter outside and also your home and, uh, sorry, also your business is clean outside. Salt, sand, pellido, mag, ice, pellets, and flakes, spreaders, shovels, snow blowers, scrapers, whatever. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. Just want to remind you, Joe and Joe Weather Show, 7.30 tonight Eastern Time, on my right here on my YouTube channel. And also, uh, the those of you who are on the free meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app, the home and the video pages on the app are still down, but I'm hoping to have those up shortly. Uh, they're working on it. So... Here we have the U.S. satellite loop. You got that conveyor belt of moisture uh, that's running up from the Gulf of Mexico to the southeast coast and offshore. That's pretty much going to hang there for the rest of the week uh, and into the weekend. We're going to see a couple of lows come out of here. And for now, it seems that those lows are not going to have impacts on weather in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states. At least that way it looks at the moment. Uh, we've got clouds mostly in the northern tier scattered about, but much of the nation today enjoying a pretty nice day. And I think the radar can pretty well verify that too, because as far as precipitation goes, as of 5 p.m. Eastern time, you can see uh, it's still going on in parts of Maine. Uh, then, and here's a refresh here. Uh, that radar was a few hours ago. This is the one from 5 o'clock. Uh, we've got uh, some light precip some snow showers in upstate New York coming in off the lake. And we've got rain showers off the North Carolina coast down to Florida and some scattered precip up uh, in the northwestern part of the country and in and around the western Great Lakes. So really, uh, it's, it's kind of a smooth sail here. We're going to take a look at the upper air in the short term on the new GFS, which is uh, only out uh, as of uh, right now to 66 hours. And the flow is pretty tame. We have weak troughs moving into the eastern part of the United States. Uh, this is the one that moved through today. We've got another one that's coming for later Thursday uh, into Friday. Uh, it's not really all that well organized. And then a stronger short wave is going to drop into the northern plains and western lakes on Saturday. And we'll have more on that uh, in a moment. Uh, but... Uh, well, you know what? Might as well do it right now. So I have the map up. Uh, this is uh, with regards to the last system in this series that will be moving out of the Gulf of Mexico and this upper trough that is coming down from the north. There, there have been some vague signals over the last week to 10 days that maybe we, another storm may try uh, and form and impact the northern mid-Atlantic and the northeast and possibly even uh, the uh, southern mid-Atlantic. Right now, looking at the upper air, you've got too many sh uh, troughs running around. Uh, you have this one here uh, in the Gulf. You've got another one that's coming down from the north. They really don't phase together until the trough has gone by. Uh, you need that phasing to occur to the west. So at this point here, for example, here's one short wave. Here's another short wave. So any low from this will probably ride out to the northeast and well to the south. But there are some... Uh, model differences among the models themselves. So they keep going back and forth all over the place regarding this. So I'm not going to shut it down completely, but I'm going to wait one more day to see if the models, how the models settle out uh, with, uh, with all of this. But in the meantime, as we uh, just run back real quick on the surface map uh, for the next five days or so, and uh, you see uh, it's pretty calm. It's actually going to be on the mild side temperature-wise uh, in uh, most of the area from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. I don't really have any mention of precip in the forecast. The front on Thursday comes on through. The air behind it is not really all that cooler than the air ahead of it. So we're going to warm up. And in fact, on Saturday, we'll probably be well up into the 50s until this Arctic boundary moves through. And then you see that low that's off the Florida coast. And based on the upper air, it gets 
well, kind of close. And there has been a tendency lately for these storms to track a little bit further to the northwest. So, again, we're going to keep an eye on it. And then it goes out. And then after that goes by, looks like the weather's going to be fairly quiet uh, into uh, the middle part of next week. And if this is correct, we've got a, uh, another cold front in about seven or eight days. And we're going to warm up ahead of it. So that pretty much uh, sets up the pattern. So for snow lovers, your chance is going to be later this weekend if those upper troughs can get together. Otherwise, uh, that's the only one that we see on the, on the boards in the next 10 days. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125, the phone number, and the website, omnitruevalue.com. Joe and Joe Show tonight at 7.30. We'll talk about how quiet the weather is across the country. And how long is it going to last? We'll uh, take a look at the long range. We'll have all the uh, late afternoon model guidance in, and we will give you our analysis. We'll see you later.